Here's the scenario. You buy a new gun and after a few games you want to change how the gun shoots, but you don't know what to do. Well, here's some teching info I know you'll need. In this video, I'm going to address gear ratios. I'll explain the function of the gear set and motor. Then I'll explain how gear sets are defined with ratios. Finally, I will explain the applications of these ratios to your builds. The gear set combined with the motor are the major deciding factor in the speed of the rifle. The speed can be affected by the battery and the battery connection and in part the spring tension but at the extremes. So gear ratio and motor will have a max rotation set within reason. I will just explain the gear ratio. Motors will be another video. The ratio is directly connected to the number of teeth that are in contact with the motor pinion gear. So there's the rotation of the bevel gear that gets converted by the spur gear and then converted again to the sector gear. This forms a gear train. Each gear is connected to the other as the drive gear to the driven gear. The number of connecting teeth between the gears create the ratio. First, the equation is number of teeth driven, or out, over the number of teeth driven, or in. You do the equation for each set of teeth. Then you take each ratio and multiply them together for a final total ratio. So for my example, I will use a set of stock APS gears. The pinion is pretty much the same for every motor and has 10 teeth. They contact with the bevel gear of the gear set with the 30 teeth of the bevel gear. This ratio is 30 to 10 or 3 to 1. Then there is the 10 teeth on the bevel that contact the 39 spur gear teeth. This ratio is 39 to 10 or 3.9 to 1. Finally, there is the 20 teeth on the spur gear that contact the 32 teeth on the sector gear. This ratio is 32 to 20, or 1.6 to 1. You then multiply 3 to 1 by 3.9 to 1 by 1.6 to 1 together to get a gear set ratio of 18.72 to 1. The number gets rounded down for marketing purposes to 18 to 1. Now how do we apply this number to function? Well, the purpose of a gear set is decreasing strain on individual gears as a whole, so the 10 small teeth of the pinion gear spin a lot on the bevel gear to make the larger spur gear turn enough to rotate the sector gear enough to make the teeth that contact the piston cycle at least once per trigger pull. Notice ratio-wise, a single turn of the sector gear is only a partial spin of the spur gear. Because of this number, the gearbox needs a cutoff lever to stop the gear set turning at a specific moment to run a perfect single shot. Hence, if you shoot a gun with an exposed gearbox on full auto, you notice the piston stops at different points. Now, as you increase the number of teeth, you decrease the rotation speed of the set as a whole, but this decreases strain on the gear set as well, so you get more torque. In contrast, as you decrease the number of teeth, you increase the rotation speed of the set as a whole, but this increases strain on the gear set, so you lose torque potential. Remember that the materials used to make the gears plays heavily on how far you can push the strength of the gear set combined with stiffer springs. And you probably noticed I didn't mention the teeth of the sector gear that contact the piston. Those are not part of the ratio. If you read any forum, you notice that people say over 18 to 1 is a torque set and under 18 to 1 is a speed set. And there are rough estimates on how these sets translate to RPS. So here is how you use the info. If you want high RPS with no consideration for FPS for this APS gun, you can change the gear set to 13 to 1 and use an M100 spring for roughly 330 FPS. This combination is lower stress. If you want a high FPS with no consideration for RPS for this APS gun, you change the gear set to 32 to 1 
and use an M150 spring for roughly 450 FPS. This build is high stress. I am assuming other aspects of the gearbox to help me determine the FPS of this hypothetical gearbox, so judge me all you want, comment section. I will say that with this info, you can make a custom build that you feel is balanced for what you want out of your gun. Thanks for watching this episode of How to Tech Understanding Series. I know this was more info than just a build list, but this kind of knowledge will help you in your purchases for the future. Please let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my info, and what you feel I missed that pertains to the subject. If you like this video, please subscribe to get updates on future videos, and please check out my team Cerberus Tactical Airsoft on Facebook. Now get out there and play.